What's happening guys? It's Shane. So I am super excited to make this video today. This is the most stupid video I've watched today. Who's that? Holy shit, you're naive as fuck. What did you say? Why would you say that? What a load of nonsense. It's obvious this video was made from a neoliberal perspective whereby one's value worth is linked to money. Well, this is a personal finance channel, so it would make sense that I talk about personal finance, right? And actually, I've said this over and over again that you shouldn't just consider salary when it comes to choosing a college degree. You should never only go for a degree just because it pays well. That would make no sense whatsoever. Instead, you should look at the full picture, of course. We're talking about passion, natural talent, opportunities, pay, and of course, job satisfaction. And I've gotten into detail with this in other videos. I've talked about it a lot, but it's basically the Japanese concept of aikigai, which I'm sure I'm totally butchering that, but basically what it means is finding a good balance between what the world needs, what your natural talents are, what you're passionate about, and what actually you can get paid for. But in this video, we're gonna pay special attention to something that kind of relates to passion, but it also kind of relates to job satisfaction, and that is the concept of meaning. Now, I'm gonna make the argument that meaning is kind of linked with job satisfaction, but in my opinion, in the long run, meaning is actually more important than passion or job satisfaction. Now, meaning is not the same thing as pleasure or enjoyment or anything like that necessarily, although I will make an argument in this video that meaning will likely lead to you enjoying your job more in the long run. And meaning is basically how your job or your career, what you do, is helping the world in your own unique way. So for instance, you might enjoy playing video games. It's extremely fun. I love playing video games. And that might have high job satisfaction if you were able to do it for a living. However, if you did it for a few decades, it's very possible that you would find that playing video games doesn't have very much meaning. I think you can find exceptions to this, but in general, playing Playing video games for a living is a little bit self-serving and you're not really helping out the world that much. Now let's go to the other end of the spectrum, complete opposite, which is something like being a garbage man. Now I don't think anybody grows up as a small child thinking to themselves, I want to be a garbage man when I grow up. It's not one of those jobs that people think are going to be super fun or they're going to be really passionate about it. However, this is a job that definitely has meaning. You are without a doubt making a huge impact on society when you clean up people's trash and you make sure that the street are clean. Apart from making everything look really pretty, you're also preventing a bunch of diseases that end up happening when your streets are dirty. Now, ideally, you would want to do something that you have a passion for. It's something you really enjoy doing, but at the same time, it also has a lot of meaning for the world and it gives a lot of value. And what better way to give value right now than to gently tap on the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. And in my opinion, meaning is actually more important than enjoyment in the long run. There's nothing better than knowing that what you're doing is truly helping different people and you're making a true impact on your community. And in this video, you're gonna notice that a lot of these jobs have a few things in common. So we're gonna be going over the college degrees that lead to the most meaningful careers. Number 10 on the list is going to be American Sign Language Interpreting. This one, you're gonna start off around $39,800 a year. Mid-career pay is gonna be around $73,800 and it has an 85% meaning score, meaning that 85% of the people who responded to this survey thought that their job was very meaningful and it helped and impacted the rest of the world. To put that in perspective, the average is somewhere around 50%. Now, one career you could go into while doing this would be an interpreter or a translator. They make around $51,800 a year. There's a ton of jobs in the US, around 76,000, and it's growing much faster than average at about 19%. Now, I've mentioned this in the past, but you kind of want to aim for making at least 75 $5,000 a year, and that's because numerous different studies have found that people's happiness peaks at around $75,000 a year. Now, these studies were done kind of like a little bit ago, so it's probably a little bit higher at this point, maybe eighty dollars or $85,000 a year, but I think you get the point. Aim for at least $75,000 a year. This way, you're doing a job that has really good job satisfaction, really good meaning, and you're also getting paid enough to the point where you're going to be happy and you're going to be able to easily provide for yourself and your family. Number nine on the list is going to be a nursing degree degree, and this is one of my favorites. So with this one, you're gonna start off around $63,200 a year, mid-career pay is gonna be around $80,500 a year, and it has an 85% meaning score. Now this can be a really tough one to get into. Nurses pretty much do all the work in hospitals, and they also get blamed for everything, and I know this because I'm a healthcare professional myself. You do have to be a little bit tough, you have to be pretty thick-skinned, but overall, this is a very rewarding career for most people. So one career path you could go down is you could become a registered nurse, and they make around $73,300 a year. There's 3 million jobs available, which is amazing. And it's still growing at 12%, which is much, much
much faster than average. Nursing is a really good career. It's extremely flexible. You can do all kinds of different specialties with nursing. If you want to move up in the hospital hierarchy, nobody knows the hospital better than nurses. And a lot of the time they end up being in management positions. If you want to go back to school and get more training, you can become a nurse practitioner and you can even get your doctorate in nursing. There are just so many different options for you and it's extremely flexible. This is a really good one to get into, but obviously, as always, you want to do your research, make sure you call people, talk to people who are actually nurses right now, and if possible, try to shadow as well. Number eight on the list is going to be physician assistant studies. Now with this one, you're going to start off around $91,000 a year. Mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $109,600, and it has an 85% meaning score. Now one thing I feel like I should mention here, and it doesn't just apply to physician assistant studies, but it applies to a lot of the ones on this list, and that's that basically, depending on which specialty you go into, the meaning score is probably going to fluctuate quite a bit. So this is why it's so important for you to do your research. There's a ton of different specialties you can go into with either nursing or physician studies and a bunch of the other ones. And the meaning score is going to fluctuate depending on which specialty you go into. So you truly do have to, you know, do your research, contact people and try to get yourself out there and just boots on the ground is the best way to go. But with that being said, physician assistant studies is going to lead to you becoming a physician assistant and they pay around $112,000 a year. And there's 118,000 jobs available with a 31% job outlook. 31% is probably the best on the list when it comes to, you know, jobs that are, you know, pretty well paying and there's quite a bit of them out there. I think that's actually the best I've ever seen. So this is a very solid option for you to go down. And if you notice, this one keeps on popping up in video after video after video after video because it really just checks all the boxes. It pays well, has good meaning. There's so much job flexibility. There's so many things that you can do. I think I'm probably going to make a video just on physician assistant alone because it's just a really good option for a lot of people out there. Number seven on the list is going to be medicine and specifically the pre-medicine track that you would take if you wanted to become a medical doctor. Now this one is going to lead to you making around $73,300 a year in the beginning and then mid-career is going to be somewhere around $97,000 and it has a meaning score of 86% which is amazing. Now I'm not going to go too much into this one. It has a lot of similarities with physician assistant and nurse of course. You're obviously going to be helping a ton of people out there at a time in their life when they need help more than any other time. So you truly are going to be making a huge impact. This is common with a lot of the different healthcare degrees. And if you notice, this list is chock full of healthcare degrees. They can be really demanding. Sometimes you're going to get worked super hard. People are going to be mad at you just because they're having a horrible day. But overall, you are going to know that you are definitely making a difference at the end of the day. Number six on the list is going to be occupational therapy. Now with this one, you're going to start off around $62,500 a year. Mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around 88,500 and it has a meaning score of 89%. Now this is another one that I've mentioned in some of my other videos on healthcare related degrees. One thing that's kind of bad about some of the healthcare related degrees and I've noticed this in mine, you know, I'm a pharmacist, is that sometimes, you know, you'll give a recommendation to somebody, you'll help someone out with something and then you don't actually get to see the follow through. So you won't be able to see whether that recommendation helped them or, you know, how they were in the future. A lot of the times you're just going to see them once and then boom, you're done. This is not as much of a problem with occupational therapy because you're going to be working with patients over a long period of time. You get to see them right after their injury and then you work with them over a long period of time and you get to see them when they've healed and now they're functional and they can do things that a normal person can do. And that's what occupational therapists basically do. They help people who have injuries and disabilities and different illnesses that prevent them from living a normal life. So obviously with an occupational therapy degree, you would become an occupational therapist. And according to BLS, they make around $84,000 a year. There's 133,000 jobs available and it has an 18% job outlook, which is amazing. Number five on the list is very closely related to occupational therapy. In fact, people get these two mixed up all the time and that is physical therapy. So physical therapists are going to make around 56,000 a year starting out and then their mid-career pay is going to be around 93,000 and they have an 89% meaning score. If you become a physical therapist, you would expect to make around $89,000 a year. There's around 247,000 jobs available and the job outlook is even better than occupational therapy at 22%. Now, like I said before, those two are very closely related and they're even paid very similarly. I guess the physical therapist is like slightly better um, overall when it comes to the stats, but they're very closely related and they both have that thing where you're able to see the patient from the beginning and take them through until the very end. And that can be very meaningful 
people, so I'm not surprised that they have such a high meaning score. Number four on the list is going to be radiation therapist, and this one is gonna start off around $66,400 a year. Mid-career pay is going to be around $88,800, and they have a 90% meaning score. Now, I think the reason this one has such a high meaning score is because you're going to be helping people who are probably at the worst point in their life. Generally, people who need radiation therapy are those that have cancer or some other extremely severe illness. This can be a really tough job and it's definitely not for everyone. I don't know if I would wanna do it myself, for instance, but if you can handle it, this one is an excellent career path to go down. According to BLS, they make around $85,000 a year. There's around 18,000 jobs available and it's growing at 9%, which is much faster than average. Number three on the list kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, I think this one is gonna surprise a lot of people and that is going to be music therapy. Now, the pay is not that great for music therapy. They start off making around $39,000 a year and then the mid-career pay is gonna be around 55,700 and the meaning score is a really good 90%, but this is a bachelor level degree. So to be honest with you, it's gonna be really difficult to get to that $75,000 a year level if you're doing music therapy. I'm not saying you shouldn't go down that path, but if you do end up you know, pursuing music therapy, you're probably gonna to have to get a little more creative with it. You might wanna start a YouTube channel or a blog or something along those lines. Now, one career path you could go down if you got a music therapy degree would be becoming a recreational therapist. They make around $48,220 per year. There's around 20,000, 19, 20,000 jobs available here in the US and it's growing at a pretty healthy 7% average. And they basically coordinate recreation-based treatments for people who have different disabilities, illnesses, etc. Number two on the list is gonna be early childhood education. Now, this is another one that doesn't really pay all that well. You know, you're gonna start off around $34,500 a year, and then mid-career, you're gonna be around $50,600, but it does have a 91% meaning score. I think people who tend to go into early childhood education are people who really like being around kids, and that gives them a lot of meaning in their life. However, I'm gonna say it again, this one is gonna be very difficult for you to get to that $75,000 a year mark. I'm not saying you shouldn't pursue this one, but it is definitely something for you to think about if you wanna maximize your happiness. Now, one career path you could go down is you could become a preschool teacher and they make around $30,500 a year. There are a ton of jobs available at over 500,000 and it's growing pretty fast, about 7%. Overall, this is a very important job. I wish that they paid more. I think it's one of the most important jobs out there, but unfortunately they just don't pay that well. And so I probably wouldn't recommend it in most circumstances. Number one on the list is going to be cytotechnology. And this is one that's a bachelor level degree that pays around $58,600 starting out and $73,000 mid-career pay. It also has an insane 91% meaning score and it was the highest on the entire list. Now this is actually very similar to radiation therapists because generally cytotechnologists are going to work with cancer patients. You're basically going to work as a medical technician and you're going to become an expert at identifying abnormalities in cells which are generally cancer type abnormalities. So one career path you could go down is become a laboratory technician or a clinical laboratory technologist. And this one is going to pay around $53,100 a year. There's gonna be a ton of jobs out there around 331,700, and it's growing at 11%, which is much, much faster than average. But overall, check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any comments, thoughts, criticisms, etc. on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.